Welcome back guys, in this video we're going to find out exactly how to upload your website sitemap to Google Search Console so you can get indexed much faster and we can do this all completely free using the plugin called All-in-One SEO. Now, of course, once you have got your um, your site added to Google Search Console, if you haven't, make sure to follow our last video. I'll have a little link popping up right now. But once you've got your site added, you can either wait for it to automatically find your pages and posts, or you can go ahead and add a sitemap, which is going to make it much easier, quicker, and will really help a ton for your SEO. We're just going to need one plugin to do this, which is called All-in-One SEO. It's completely free. We don't need the premium version. And what this is going to give us is our sitemaps, the URL for it, which we can very quickly and easily put into the Google Search Console. If you haven't got all the All-in-One SEO um, plugin, we're just simply going to go over to the plugins go to add new and then search for all in one seo or just the abbreviations click the one that's all in one seo and then we're going to get started once you've got it downloaded come and hover over all in one seo and from here we're going to click on the sitemaps area a brilliant little thing that all in one seo does is once you get started it creates you your sitemaps the pages and urls that you're going to need to give google search console these are always going to be updated so it's best practice to add your sitemap from the all in one seo once we've clicked on it we're going to click on the open sitemap area here and here is going to be where it has um, our URLs and yours might differ a little bit obviously here I've got stuff like my post sitemap my page uh, products because it's an e-commerce store you can include your mail poet sitemap if you've got subscriptions I've got categories and product as well this is also up to you what you actually put on there because perhaps you might not want um, stuff from your mail poet or your subscriptions or potential other plugins that um, it's added XML sitemaps to to appear on Google search console so we're going to be concentrating on the ones that you do now if we go back over to your Google search console and once you are here make sure you're logged in uh, with your account and that you've uh, picked the correct website once you're of course editing it so I'm going to be editing this one here joystick design and then we're going to click on sitemaps right over here as you can see I've not um, submitted any sitemaps yet so let's go ahead and enter it you can see here that we have the URL prefix or pretty much the entire URL so we just need the end of the URL we can go ahead and grab this if we actually click on our post sitemap over here you can see that we've got one post on our sitemap so far it keeps this updated automatically as well this is why it's the best practice to add this to Google search console and as you can see the end of the domain is post-sitemap.xml so let's go ahead and copy this and now we're going to go and put it into the end and then submit once you're done and that's how fast we've now added the post sitemap we can now go ahead and do the rest of them so if i want to get my pages on there i want to get them indexed i want to get the sitemap up i'm going to get page.sitemap.xlm sorry i might have said that wrong the last time but again we're just going to paste in the end of the url um, and then we're going to submit now we've got our page sitemap as well uploaded to google search console it recognizes that we have 12 pages and it's now going to index them much faster so now go ahead add whatever you want whether it's going to be the mail poet page products if you've got e-commerce categories usually you have tags on here as well and that's how you can add and create your sitemap on google search console so thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this showing up in your feed and now we have popping up on the screen another video which is going to show you exactly how to get your properties from your google search console and bring them over to the bing search console automatically quickly easily without any fuss whatsoever so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.